Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a 24 volt battery pack that we had built. If you hadn't checked the previous video out, I leave a link on the top. Go check that out. In the previous video, we built this battery pack and we replaced the 24 volt BMS. And uh, but this time what we are going to do is we are going to fix the aluminum terminals that got stripped because I did over talk the screw when I was fixing the bus bars. So right now, if you see, if I screw this in, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't lock the threads properly. So the terminal is gone. So I'm unable to use this battery pack because the terminal is loose and there's no secure connection. So how could we fix this? The best way to go about fixing this is by using this thread repair kit, which is also called as helicoiling. So I got this from the brand called Rapicoil. I leave a contact information below. You could go check the now. And I also got these tool in which you have three different kits. You get this from a wooden box. So here I got M4, M5, M, M6 version. So if you see, it contains everything. So the, the one that I'm holding right now is the tapping tool with which you could tap the threads. You also get the proper drill size to drill the holes into it. And the main important thing is also you get this Healy coil. These are stainless steel coils that uh, reinforce your aluminum terminals. So you just have to screw this in. That's the main thing. Along with that, you also get the thread insert kits. So now let's get this fixed. I'm going to unscrew the terminal. Now I did put in a tape so that I could measure the depth inside and do not go more than that. So you just need to use a normal drill to, to enlarge the hole. It's pretty simple. Once that is done, we are going to tap it. So how, how are you going to tap it by using this uh, tap tool? You could get this locally and you just need to insert that uh, uh, tool and then screw it in. It, it holds in securely. So whenever you tap it, so you have to make sure that the, the tool is perpendicular and uh, make sure that you do not do drop this because the terminal is alive and it might damage it or it might cause a short circuit. So you just need to screw it in and uh, before that I'm applying WD-40 to duplicate the terminals so that the thread can bite in properly. So hold it perpendicular and then screw it. Three turns in, one turn out. So that's the method that I use. Now make sure that you do not cross thread it. Make sure that it's straight. Take your time on this. Do not hurry. So if you see right now, small pieces of aluminum filings are coming out, which actually means that the thread is biting in and the thread is being engraved. The bubbles that you see is actually from the WD-40, so don't worry about that. So if you see the thread is gone in and I'm just removing out the tool now. So once that is done, you have to use this stainless steel coil and uh, use that uh, insert tool. You actually get a small uh, latch at the bottom which holds in place and you could uh, once you insert it you could uh, remove that so hold it perpendicular and twist it I mean the first thing is pretty uh, tight so you just need to put a little more pressure and align the springs correctly and then thereafter it goes in properly So if you see right now, it did go in and uh, that's the maximum that I was able to push it in. And that's the uh, drilled hole, which is reinforced with the helicoil spring. So now there is a small thing that is still uh, on the top. That's about the terminal. I'm just going to leave it as it is because the copper bus bars have small hole on it. So it, it, it's fine. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Uh, 
Now, the reason why I was not able to push it in more than that is because of the depth and also this tool, the slot is pretty large. So I wasn't able to like fix it properly. So let's get everything screwed. So right now, if you see, I have fixed it. I have screwed it in. Now it's much secure and it's pretty tight. I This terminal is not going to go out anywhere. This is the easiest way to fix your stripped out terminals, not just for batteries, anything else, any aluminum things that where you want to refix it uh, threading. So you could use this helicoil method. And uh, I also got... Uh, lots of springs so it might come in handy at any point in time so this is how you could fix the terminal guys if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do subscribe to it thank you so much